Good morning, everybody. We are uh, moving potatoes today. The warehouse has showed up and it's taking some crop from last year, from the 2019 crop. This is the last of our spuds, the last seller we have to move. But as you can see here, they've got the semi parked here, ready to load out. Um, this is going to be going up to the warehouse where they are going to uh, wash them, sort them, go into different sizes, and then make sure there's no dirt or vines in there. And then uh, they're inspected and shipped out to you guys. So right there is our semi. This coming out to it to load it as a piler. And this is a different piler because we're actually eliminating our small spuds right here. Normally we uh, we eliminate at harvest time, but this year with the weather we weren't able to eliminate the little little ones out. Anything that's under two inches. So that's what we're doing now. So that's what this arm is coming out right here and going into this truck taking out the little ones. Here's what we call the Nick. It comes in here, or the scooper, depending on where you're at. But you can see it, it's got a little angle on the front that goes down, gets right onto the floor until so they go underneath the pile and the pile rolls into it and rolls up. And we grow some good looking spuds. See, what we want to eliminate out anything that's small like this you guys don't want to pay to eat that so that goes the processor there they take it and they'll make it into hash brown uh, Pringles potato chips this is the cellar this is where we store potatoes at harvest time we've got these pipes that run underneath the pile and we push cold air through this pile actually will heat up on its own potatoes so we have to push outside air there's some doors on the front to open up push outside air and try to keep it cool but normally they go full length and they go clear across to the other side you can see what pipes that they've already pulled out standing up over there and that's how we keep them fresh and keep the air to them keep them from wanting to uh, break down and store this cellar will hold about 50,000 sacks um, so let's take you up top and let me show you what it actually looks like This, on this cellar, we run the fans 24-7. They're on variable drive, so we're actually able to speed them up and slow them down. And to show you the fans, there's two of them stacked one top of the other. Um, we can control the speed of them with the frequency, so we can slow them down and speed them up depending on how if the spuds are wanting to heat up. We'll speed them up a little bit, or if we're getting a nice, good, con consistent temperature, we'll lower it down. Here's the fans from this side. They blow down this tunnel. This is what we call the plenum. And that goes the full length of the building. And these right here, these, these are yellow, these doors, we've got them covered off for right now so that as they're pulling the spuds, they don't, in the move of the pipe, the spuds don't fall out into the plenum. But I'll walk you up here and we'll take a look at one that hasn't been opened yet. So the air comes down from those fans there and it pressurizes this whole tunnel and then it goes out into these are the pipes that I was explaining to go and run underneath the, the spuds and then they've got holes in them perforated down here in the bottom I don't know if you can see very well as dark as it is but there's holes here that the air can go down through and then it goes up and it filters up through the pile and starts at the bottom and works its way up. We try to keep close eye on that. We've actually got this seller set up on a notification to our cell phone so that if anything goes wrong it will text us or call us so that we can get over here and make sure that we get things running. So let's go up top and I'll show you the top of the pile. And here's we're in the very back of the building now, looking forward. You can walk on the pile. We try not to walk on it too much. We do walk it just for inspection, just to make sure that we don't have any problems. The doors open and draw outside air and bring it in here, but we need to get rid of the hot air. And so here on the back, this is actually a light block. And this blocks that light, but all of our hot air gets pushed out here because this whole thing pressurizes when the fans are running. Let's go back out front and see how things are going out there. So right now they're switching semi, so I thought I'd take a chance to 
get up here close to it and show you how those things work. So there's the angle, you can see a bit going into the pile and they just go underneath and the pile just rolls up on there. Let's go up top and I'll show you how we're the sizer on top of this piler and how that works and how what we're taking out and sending to the processor. Alright, well we're just getting going again. So I'm gonna show you let's come up here. They reach right here on top of this piler on these rollers. And these rollers we can adjust the distance on. It's much fall through there. And they drop down through here. And these little ones here are what we're loading out onto our truck. Well, I hope you guys are finding this interesting. I've had a lot of people ask me over the years of how do we keep potatoes and how do you get them in there and how do you get them out. Uh, when we get to harvest this fall, I'll show you a process of how we put them in there. It's quite the project. It last year it took us over three weeks to get them put in with the weather the way it was. Hope you guys enjoy this and we'll catch you guys later.